ladies if you have dogs your dog is going under anesthesia rushed morning thank goodness thank goodness that i wake up at five in the morning i'm an early bird thank goodness i'm an early bird and even so i feel like during the day i still don't have time most of the time i still have no time like there's just so much to do but today because i have to um it's a little crazy and I'm, my anxiety is up there um because uh, my routine has been thrown off today, but that's okay. That's okay. So I have to bring Casey, uh, one of my goldens, to an appointment. She's gonna have a dental cleaning, a deep dental cleaning, which I hate. I hate leaving my dogs in the vet for so long. Like today, she'll be there all day under anesthesia, which I hate. So two things, the deep cleaning dental procedure and then her comprehensive exam. She gets two a year and then one deep clean a year. <sighs> yes. So that's why. And then her appointment is at 7.35 and it's 7.25, 26. I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna get there. So I'm dropping her off. The good thing about it is that her doctor, she knows well, actually he knows that I get anxiety and I don't like my dogs to be there for a long period of time so he is kind enough and they know they don't do well they really don't do well so I'm so glad that they have a vet doctor that understands us and what he does is very kindly what oh, I have a hair very kindly that's so nice of him that he does her first and if everything goes well she wakes up from the anesthesia she, he waits a little little bit and everything goes well he gives me a call before noon which I'm so so thankful and um, that way I can pick her up rather than her being there until 5 in the afternoon it's like no so I'm hoping that today is that day too things are changing on that vet office so I don't know how busy they are but I am hoping that everything goes well and that he can go ahead and give me a call so I can go ahead and pick her up so that is the agenda for today very very anxious I'm feeling this morning um I have my coffee still does that help maybe not but I need this I need this so we are on our way all right I got here at 7 32 let's go Casey I know girl I know hold on I know. All right, can I do this? Probably, yes, I have to. All right, so I just finished filling out the paperwork. And this girl, this girl, she can't get any closer. Any closer to me. <sighs> but we made it. We made it, Casey. I know. You don't like this? I don't like this either. All right, now my anxiety is even worse. I will tell you. I will tell you. So, I just heard that um, my dog's vet, doctor vet, no longer is there. He left. So I go in and they have new staffing. Like, I don't know anyone. New staffing and there's like no doctors that I know. The one that's going to be seeing Casey today, she's new. No, no, nothing wrong with that, but she's new. <sighs> yeah. So it's just, you know, when she gets a dental cleaning and her comprehensive exam, I make sure that they don't vaccinate her while she's under anesthesia. They did that to me once to her and I did not like it because she was so so bad after that and we figured out what was wrong and what was the, the situation and it was mixing her medication with anesthesia it just doesn't work ladies if you have dogs your dog is going under anesthesia and she's due for vaccination just make sure because right now they weren't gonna tell me I have to speak it out because they had it written down that she was due for vaccination that we're gonna give her those vaccinations but mommy here mommy here made sure no vaccinations I spoke because of my history and experience before and I said um, one thing that I'm asking, if she is due for vaccinations, please do not, do not vaccinate her today. I will make a clinical appointment uh, or a nurse visit and um, I will bring her back for those uh, vaccinations. So speak out because 
they're not gonna do it. They they should, but they don't do it. I'm just hoping that they can give me a call back soon, you know? Alright guys, so this is the final look. So I found a tactic that really, really works. Um, so I started off like this. I started off like this and I was whipping the poor teddy bear's head off. So as you can see, there's some attachments there. But then I figured a tactic where um, I was able to grab all of them without breaking them. These are gonna go in the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes because they literally ran out of treats. So yeah, let me know if you guys want me to show you guys how to make these. So these are called sensitive stomach pumpkin treats with one, two, three, four ingredients. That's it. So simple, you can eat it, I can eat it. So I can definitely go ahead and show you more in depth, step by step, how I make them. If you do like these types of videos, go ahead and give it a like. That way I can go ahead and I know that you guys are interested on me showing you guys how to make this recipe. And yeah, giving a like to my channels, guys, it is so, so appreciated. Liking the video helps the algorithm on my channel so much, you know? So thank you. I'm gonna flip them. Look how cute. Oh my goodness. Tell me that's not cute. Adorable! Once they cool off, I will give you one, okay, darling? And you too, Mr. Kiaspo. I'll give you some. I know. I know. You're waiting. You're waiting patiently. Alright, the cookies cooled off, okay? Are you ready? All right, lucky boy. Here you go, sweetie. Coco. And Mr. the chaos bowl. Mmm. Yummy. I am picking Casey up. They said that I was able to, the doctor gave me a call and she said that I was able to pick Casey up um, around 4.30. So I am on my way to pick my Casey up, my Casey boo. I miss you so much. The vet called me, I wanna say, I'm so sorry if I'm yelling. The doctor called me around 12, 12-ish, and she said blood work came back norm. We was able to go ahead and um, proceed with the dental. Um, we was able to proceed with the dental deep uh, dental procedure and also her comprehensive exam. Everything went well, and we are picking we're picking Casey Boo up. Yeah, separation anxiety. That's me with my dogs, and it's vice versa. Yes, yes, I do. I just picked up Casey Boo. She looks good other than oh, I know she's a bit nauseous so what I'm gonna do is I like to stay nice and calm when I pick her up because if you start talking to her she gets overly excited she might urine she might vomit so I kept it nice and cool um when I picked her up <clears throat> so I'm just glad she's here so Casey YouTube friends Casey she left. She, she doesn't want to be bothered, okay? She doesn't want to be bothered. Why am I putting a signal? I'm on a parking. So what I am... What's wrong with this now? Casey, your paw. Can you... Can you move your paw? Can, can you move your paw? Thank you. There you go. Thank you. Right, let's have this nice and cool for her. Yeah. Oh, no. I can't really do that very loud. Okay, so like I was saying, um, I did notice right away that she is a little bit nauseous, which is very understandable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go home and I'm going to give her CBD oil. CBD oil, ladies, everyone, if you have dogs, CBD oil, it's not just for anxiety. Go on. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, it's not just to control anxiety. It's so much more. It helps with their stomach 
it's great for nauseous if your dog is nauseous or even vomiting. I bring that stuff every single time we travel. That's my go-to. I'm gonna link the one that I always get, but I'm so happy I have her. Now my separation anxiety is under control. Alright guys, so this is the CBD oil that I give to my doggies, the Asher House Wellness with that milligram. And then on the back, it just tells you exactly the directions on how to give it to your loved one. And then these are the, right there, it just tells you like the dosage for your for your doggy. So what I like to do is, this is a dropper. I like to give it to her with some sort of like treat. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give her one of these because these are stomach sensitive. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a few, the drops that I need with one of the treats. I'm so excited to see her. 